Our next guest hardly needs an introduction. Uh, you'll know the face, you'll know the name, and then, of course, you remember the player. Vladimir Brodzianski joins us right now. Uh, good to see you, good man. Good to see you, too, man. Welcome back into town. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you know, we uh, the last time we saw you, obviously, was the NCAA run. Uh, and, and and finally getting the Frogs back to the NCAA yeah, was tournament. Great. I know that was rewarding for you. The NIT championship the year before. That uh, was amazing, too. Yeah, well, I, I mean, <laughs> you, you were instrumental in that. I mean, you think back now on your three years here at TCU. When, when you think about them, how, how rewarding were those? I was great. You know, we had a great group of guys, great coaches. I mean, the campus was right here. You know, everybody was supporting us, all the fans. It was amazing three years. And then you get drafted by the – or you don't you don't get drafted. You try out with the Cavaliers. Yeah, yeah I went with the Cavaliers. You actually – did you sign with the Cavs for a little while? It was just for summer league. You okay. know, I did a little summer league round. And then, I mean, I went overseas. But it was a great experience, you know. I played – for summer league and just you know you get the NBA logo everywhere it was it was amazing and and then to Spain you go yeah and, I went and, to Spain. and you've been in Spain for the last what three years or last so? four years last four years yeah. playing give us some sense of how that's going for you what that career has been like uh, I went two years to Obradoiro uh, it's like a smaller uh, smaller team in uh, top Spanish league mm -hmm. uh, it was a great experience you know first time back overseas after states. So it was a great start for me and from there I moved to yeah, I went to Badalona which is like right next to Barcelona. Uh, we had two great years as well. This year we finished third, right after Barcelona and Madrid. So it was it was a great experience. Yeah, Barcelona and Madrid are always oh, seems yeah, like at the top, yeah. aren't they? One and two. Yeah, and really league. hard to top them. That's the highest level of Spanish basketball, yes, too, sir. right? Yeah. And then and now you've made a change, and you're going to go play in Turkey, right? Am I right about this? Yeah, I'm going to move to Turkey this year. Yeah, and and tell us about that because you you, you talked to me off air about. Just an opportunity to go see the world a little bit. And see yeah, you know, uh, change a little bit, uh, see different place, uh, different people, different league. Yeah, it's still great league. You know, uh, FS1 Euro League twice in a row in front of Madrid and Barcelona. Uh, they got a bunch of great teams, so it's going to be a great experience. It's, uh, how's your uh, How's your Spanish? Did you master it in four years? <laughs> I didn't master it. I can understand some, uh, but I wasn't forced too much because you know everybody speaks English. Yeah. And then in Barcelona, everybody speaks Catalan. So that's kind of even, like, it doesn't match. I mean, it's similar Spanish, but right. it's different. So, you know, that kind of throws you off a little bit. But, yeah, I yeah. can understand some. And and from when we had Bingo Merricks and a couple other guys that have played overseas and come back and, and talk to us, you guys get taken care of pretty well, right? I oh, mean, yeah. They take care of the athletes. Yeah, they take care of you. You know, they provide you with apartment, uh, with car, you know, health insurance or whatever you need. Uh, when you need something, you just call, you know, and they usually get stuff done. Wow. Have you been able to go home at all? Yeah, I was home for like two weeks after the season ended, and then I fly over here. Yeah. And uh, here in Fort Worth for a week or so just to see friends and hang out and yeah, check on friends, things? Yeah, friends, hang out, you know, like see the campus, see yeah. the coaches. It's great to catch up with everybody. Yeah, and you and I loved your timing because you purposely waited until after was camp camp was over with, so Thomas didn't put you to work, <laughs> right? Yeah, I guess so. I didn't know there was a camp going on, to be honest. Yeah. But... Yeah, that was just the timing, you know. <laughs> we, we have a long season, so there wasn't much other time I could come. You were always fun at camp, though. They, you, guys always loved hanging out with yeah, you. Yeah, I know. It, it's a great time with the kids. You know, it's the next generation. Yep. You know, you're trying to give forward. And, I mean, I think they're doing a really good job here with the kids and camps. Yeah, did you get a chance to follow the Frogs uh, this year in basketball and see the run in the NCAA tournament? Yeah, for sure. You know, I'm trying to keep up as much as I can. You know, like, look at the results. It's really hard to watch it because of the time difference, you know, when you when, – when you guys play here, it's already like three or four in the morning for us. Right. Plus, not many streams or platforms to watch it, so it's a little difficult. But I'm trying to keep up with the scores, you know, and like the players. It was also easier when I knew the guys, like you know, the guys I play with. So now it's a little different team. So it's a fun team, though. It's it is a fun a great team to watch. Team, yeah. yeah, and, and uh, they got I a lot of guys coming back. I so I think this really year's gonna be good. Yeah, they're gonna be they're gonna be really yeah. good this year. Now, will you get a chance to play with them at all in, over the next few days, or no? I'm not sure. I'm still recovering from the injury. Yeah. I uh, torn ligament in my right. ankle, so I'm, I'm probably not. But I, blame I may you. do some, you know, shooting and stuff around. Yeah. Tell me what uh, when you're overseas, when you're in Spain, or when, when you're in Turkey, do you try to take in the culture? Do you go see things? Do you try to get a feel for everything? There? Yeah, for sure. You know, when family or friends come, you're trying to show them around, like visit some places. You know, yeah. in Barcelona, there was so much stuff to see. Right. I'm sure in Istanbul, there's going to be plenty of things to see too. 
So you go eat to restaurants, you know, like different, you know, like wherever your teammates sometimes take you, especially like the guys who are from there. Right. That kind of helps. Yeah, and you, so you got to be willing to try new things. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, like sometimes you may not like some, but <laughs> you may not want to say it yeah. right away. <laughs> and you may not know what it is. Yeah, that's yeah, the thing I'm not too. sure what this is. Yeah, but... they're like, you know, look at the menu, you're like, uh, what is this? And they try to explain you, but, you know, you're like, oh, I have no idea what it is, but let's try it. <laughs> but, you know, in overseas, they usually do it like, they order a bunch of stuff and everybody like gets some, so yeah. kind of like appetizer sharing. Yeah. So it's pretty. That's the great thing good. about Spain was tapas, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, they got those tapas. You know, oh, yeah. like the bunch of little things you can try. Yeah. So it's it's great. That's fun stuff. So what do you what do you do when you're in the off season or when basketball is not going on? How do you spend your time? Uh, you know, it's it was a little bit more difficult now with the COVID. Like the yeah. traveling part was, I you know I was I tried to come here. I would try to come here earlier, but with the COVID, you know, like non citizen couldn't enter states for two right. years. So that didn't help, but uh, you know, just a little relax, spend it with the family, which I don't see much, mm -hmm. friends, and you know, like uh, free time, just as much as I can. And then, of course, I have to keep work out, you know, stay in shape. Well, you were always a terrific ambassador for TCU basketball yeah. and, a, and a fan favorite. When you look back uh, on your time here in Fort Worth, is there one, is there one event, is there one game, is there is there one thing that stood out that always will as a memory for you? I mean, there was many of them, you know. Uh, when we beat Kansas in the Big 12 tournament yeah. as the number one seed. Of course, the NIT championship game. I think it was West Virginia at home when we had, like, I think it was Big Monday and we won, you know, the fans stormed the court. So there's a lot of good memories. Yeah, a lot of good memories. And you were right in the heart of all of those, man. Yeah. The resurgence uh, of TCU basketball. You get a lot of credit for that, Vlad. So thank you for coming by, Thank man. you for having me. Good to see you. That's good Vladimir Brodzianski.